2015 survey by Chapman University found that more than 40% of Americans believe that places can be haunted by spirits. Ghosts and hauntings seem to be a relatively common part of the human experience, and there appear to be several types of ghosts or hauntings, and more than one theory might be needed to explain them all. The traditional views of ghosts is that they're the spirits of dead people that for some reason are stuck between this place of existence and the next, often as a result of some tragedy or trauma. Many ghost hunters and psychics believe that such earthbound spirits don't know they're dead. Occasionally, someone will have a one-time encounter with the ghost of someone they knew who has recently passed away. This may take place hundreds or thousands of miles from the location of the person's death. Many people believe that these encounters are a way for the deceased person to send a message to their loved ones, letting them know that they're okay and they're moving on, or that they're loved. Many skeptics believe that haunting experiences are products of the individual's mind. Ghosts, they say, are a psychological phenomena. We see them because we expect to or want to see them. A grieving widow sees her dead husband because she needs to. She needs the comfort of knowing that he is alright and happy in the next world. Her mind produces the experience to help itself cope with the stress of the loss. Since we know so little about the power and capability of our minds, it's possible they can even produce physical manifestations, such as apparitions and noises, and projections that even others may be able to see and hear. It's even been suggested that if we was able to use the full power of our brain, we could move objects. Ghost photographs are one of the best pieces of evidence that could prove their existence. But what are we actually seeing? Most photos of ghosts can easily be debunked as hoaxes or manipulation. For example, the Wem ghost photo is one of history's most famous ghost photos, and it was proven to be a fake. Wem Town Hall in England caught fire in November 1995. The fire raged through the night and firemen battled the flames. A local decided to snap some pictures. In one of his photos, there appears to be a clear image of a girl standing in front of the fire. No one remembered a young girl being at the scene, and there was definitely not a young girl in the building. Some believe this is the ghost of a girl called Jane Churn, who accidentally started a fire that destroyed many homes in the town in 1667. However, a local named Brian Lear discovered a postcard which bears a striking resemblance to the girl in the photo. Here's the postcard. While many people believe ghosts are real, seeing them is rare, but that does not mean the ghosts are not there. Many people who have come into contact with ghosts report feeling sensations, such as unexplained cold or dampness and a sense of dread or sadness. Many people attempt to communicate with ghosts and record themselves speaking with a voice recorder. When played back on a voice recorder, some claim you can hear responses from the ghost. This is referred to as electronic voice phenomena. Other people will take pictures of places that they think are inhabited by ghosts. When examining the photos, you can sometimes see little balls of light or orbs. These orbs are not visible to the human eye in the moment, but are evident in pictures. It's believed that these orbs are spirits in the area. However, many consider orbs to be dust particles. There are other types of ghosts called non-intelligent hauntings, which are simply a collection of residual energy signals. They don't always appear in a human form, sometimes just as a shadow, an orb, or a flash of something in the peripheral vision. These residual hauntings generally perform repetitive actions. A ghostly figure walking up the same set of stairs each night, or the sound of an eerie cry in the night on a remote bridge. It's also believed they do not interact with the living on an intelligent level. They may not even be aware of the existence of the living, and they've often been compared to a recording that just continues to repeat over and over again. Are we just scared? There is a motivational side to believing ghosts. We all want to believe in life after death. The idea of our mortality is one we are generally not comfortable with. Confirmation bias holds powerful sway over our perceptions. We find it much easier to believe evidence for something we want to believe in anyway. So my question to you is do you believe in ghosts? Let me know your theories in the comments. Here's some videos of alleged ghosts caught on camera.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.